Alrighty then. So, been a minute since I last actually did any kind of video. So, I'm sorry. Pretty much all I can say. I am sorry. I still see I'm getting subscribers, which is dope. Dope. Top business. You know, like nice crispies, nice crunchies. Gotta have my pops. But, like, for real, I was trying way too hard. I was applying way too many different things and. And I was rambling away too much. Um, so as you know, because I drink the cappuccino, you know, and I do my hair. No, but like for real. Um, been actually, I, I guess I'll do like a quick update. So um, last time I left off, I was doing exercises. I was reading poems, uh, talking about life and motivation and the success I'm going to have in my life. I am having in my life. Um... I think weight loss, uh, just like a bunch of different subjects, I was everywhere, and just kind of been doing my own thing, like enjoying my own life, um, and I'm kind of gonna keep doing the same thing, because I mean, like, I'm having fun, I'm having fun with my life, I really like my life, I'm like, I'm, a, I'm like, here's, if, if, if content is eye level, then I'm like here, like this is happy, so I have a whole hairline left to go, so I'm not there yet. Like, I'm no Gary V, but holy shit, does that guy motivate me. Um, he really does hold you accountable for what you do in your actions. And that really motivated me, so um, if you want to uh, follow me on Instagram, please do so. Uh, you can follow me there at... R-Y-O-U-J-I underscore X-O Ryuji X-O Wow, I don't even know my own URL Ryuji underscore X-O um, I post a lot of stuff on there just because it's so much easier to post and you can only post a few minutes so I'm more inclined to post longer videos on YouTube which is why I'm here um, So yeah um, again, like I got really sidetracked there as far as the update uh, my sister is actually having a nephew, which is tough, because he, like, has a broken heart, like, a hole in his heart, and, like, arteries wrapped around it, and he's pretty much, he was born, like, a month or two ago, and I know that kind of sounds bad that I don't know if it's one month or two months, even though it's just such a short time, but, uh, you know, I just try not to think about it, because, like, fucking poor little guy, man, he, um... He's been in and out of surgery and like in like on and off of sedation since he's been born. So and when they pick him up, like he cries because of the pain. So I'm not sure how like even how long my sister's been able to hold him. Um my stepdad fucking found like my mom died five years ago, six years ago, whatever. Again, I should keep track of that, but it's just I got more more shit that I care about in life. But anyway, he ended up finding another wife. Fuck you, Charlie fucking Black. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself, you stupid... No, I'm just... I'm just playing. <laughs> um, yeah, no. That was really hard to deal with. Finding out that... Even though he made my mom cheat on my dad. Um, and then kept her for like the next 11 years. And then she died. Within 5 years, he already found another love and is marrying her. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You're not even reaching out to me or my sister during this hard time with her fucking, you know, third child. So, whatever. Um, but, honestly, those are the only two things I can actually say that are negative. Which is pretty good. If you've been watching my videos, like, I do touch upon a lot of negative shit. And, I, that, those are the only two that I can say. One is because I'm salty, and two, that's just fucking reality. Like, he's dealing with that shit, so I can't fucking fight it. So, um, you know, I'm doing pretty fucking good. As far as the good news, the business, I don't know, I'm not sure if I actually ended up talking about that or not, but as far as the business, it's up and running. The last two months, we actually have made 2.5k um, in sales, and it's just with a three-man crew, 
without no without any advertising and um, pretty much all of it's just word of mouth. So <laughs> good fucking shit. We actually have a bid for a hotel. I can't really name where because it's in such a minute location, like discreet. You could probably find out where and who and what. So, um, but yeah, we we have a bid in for a hotel for uh, three point two thousand dollars. So that one job itself would actually take care of an entire month, according to the last two months of our um, our income. So that's cool. Um, learning how to actually do the work itself, even though I was one of the people that originally were just paying and financing it, now I'm learning how to do the work, and it, like, I would much prefer that than my retail job, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm really loving life, I'm really having fun with it, um, I've been working out, I've been doing a lot of push-ups, not to toot my own horn, but... On my Instagram, I, I posted videos of my muscles before, and they're just like these little things, and I was so proud of them before, but like, fuck, if you try, you can make your body do shapes, which is really fucking cool. Um, I'm still writing poetry, I'm still writing just stuff, like stuff. Um, I'm also, as part of this the co-owner, I'm the, uh, chief marketing media, uh, manager, which is pretty, pretty hard to, like, like, I'm trying to have to teach myself to do what I want to do in order to do what I want to do successfully, so, I mean, like, again, it's, it's working, we're getting followers, we're getting likes, um, follow us on Instagram at three steps cleaning if you want to help support the business instead of me, which is totally fine, I'd rather you support somebody, whether it's not me or the business, was Uzi, was Easy, Fugazi, Fugizi, just follow somebody, because one like goes a long way, especially if it's a genuine like, and a follow, and a subscribe, right down there, or there, whichever way this mirrored camera comes out, um, yeah man, the best moral of the story that I can say for this video is just trust in yourself, love yourself, focus on yourself, focus on your life, self-love, self-honesty, be genuine, right? Religion, life, laws, like, there's always a certain set of rules that you need to follow. The best thing I would say to just, like, kind of summarize the thing into, like, this messy goop of Plato, just, like, life and humans, like, humans are fucking Plato with bones. So we're, so, we're so fucking malleable. So the best thing I can say is just be honest. For, first of all, be honest. Two, try your best. And three, be genuine. If you are self-honest, if you're genuine, and if... Damn. I forgot what it was. Because it was like five. I was trying to condense it. Like, yeah... If you self-love, if you're self-honest, and you're genuine, then everything that comes from self-honesty will benefit you. Everything from self-love will come and benefit you. If you're genuine, then your self-honesty and your self-love will be genuine. You're, like, nobody once that I've ever met in my entire life has ever said, Ooh, I wish I would have lied about something. I wish I would have lied because then this, like, no. Everybody always says, oh, Man, I wish I would have told the truth. I, I wish I would have told the truth. I wish I was just honest. I wish I would have just told them that I wouldn't be in this situation. Just, just do it to begin with. Like, I used to pride myself on how many masks that I could wear, metaphorically, like, but it's just like, it hurts to peel them all off. But once you can feel your skin, once you can go like this and talk to a camera knowing that people are going to watch, and even if nobody watches, knowing that you can watch, you can hold yourself accountable because you documented it, you recorded it, you can go back on it and you can see it, right? So I'm just going to leave it there for this video, you know, like, a five-minute update, five-minute motivational, like, do you, be honest, like, fuck what anybody else thinks, right, the reason why I'm okay with my stepdad being that way, even though I talk shit, I give in to the shit-talking, right, 
but I'm the only one that's feeling that. You aren't feeling any type of way about my stepdad. You aren't feeling any type of way about anything that I'm suffering with or getting angry about. Nobody knows. Nobody knows unless I tell him. And then when I tell him, it's superficial. So, you know, I'm the only one that's making myself hurt. I'm the only one that's making myself suffer. I'm the only one that's experiencing my own negative version of life. So don't. You don't have to. <clears throat> you don't have to let yourself suffer. You don't have to punish yourself. You can just do what you want and be happy and be con like <clears throat> don't don't even be content with that. Don't don't settle with contentment with contentness or contentment or whatever. Be happy with happy, if that makes sense. Be happy with who you are, who you're becoming, and who you know that you will be, right? For any age that you are, whatever age that you are, whoever's watching this, whatever gender, age, nationality, ethnicity, mindset, fucking moral goals, like, whatever... Again, just self-honesty, self-love, genuity, genuine, genuine, just fucking be genuine. I'm like, like, I'm brain farting right now. I'm so excited for you guys just to go out and do your fucking shit. <clears throat> and I, like, choked on some spit. I'm really trying hard not to, like, make it a thing. <clears throat> so I'm sorry. Yeah, man, like... I used to have this... This is where I'm gonna end it. It's like, I used to make a joke about... What happens if you poke life with a stick? No! No! Stop poking it with the stick! Walk right up to that motherfucker, whether it's dead or alive, pick your fucking life up, throw it over your shoulder, lift it up, fucking carry it wherever the fuck you want to go, and then just see what happens. Fuck poking it with the stick from a safe little distance. Like, who the fuck has been successful? and happy with their life that's been at a distance. See, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. This is self-confidence, man. Like, nobody has ever poked life with a fucking stick from a safe distance and been happy with themselves. Like, no regrets, man. No regrets. Do you throw, <coughs> throw life over your shoulder and just run with it. See what happens. Enjoy yourself and have fun. Like, follow, subscribe. Again, my Instagram, R-Y-O-U-J-I underscore X-O. That's my personal Instagram. And if you want to follow my business Instagram, that would be at Three Steps Cleaning. And you can also follow us on Facebook um, at Three Steps ADA. Don't forget, it's all cool.